No two people seem to agree just on where the Salento ends and the rest of Puglia begins. So who is right? When we say the Salento, everyone here agrees on three of the four borders. Like all islands and peninsulas, you can't argue with the water. But it's the fourth border that is tricky. Heading north from Leche, just where the Salento ends, is open to interpretation. 1. You could take the cartographer's method and draw a jagged and imaginary line between the Adriatic and the Ionian. This implies that it is the peninsula of Italy's sub-peninsula that makes the Salento. It's not a bad argument, and it's thrifty. Or two, you could take the geological approach and notice that the descending from the Valle d'Itria, that the earth itself becomes one of the flattest parts in all of Europe, where Puglia is flat, that is the Salento. Or three, you could take the linguistic approach and train your ear to hear Salentino, the dialect of the Salento, which is really the Sicilian branch of the Pugliese dialectical tree, where its Siciliano is the strongest in Puglia, that is the Salento. Or four, you could define it in terms of original human genetics, where the, where the Masapians settled 3,500 years ago. It's haunting just how much this corresponds with the Salento today. You could argue analogy, monitoring carefully the relationship between the two primary wine grapes in this case, Il Negromaro and Il Primitivo. Once the fulcrum is flipped and Il Negromaro becomes majority grape, you're in the Salento. My definition of the Salento though, is the part of the world that adds barley flour to our fresh pasta. It's the most defining characteristic, the one I miss most when away from home. And for all the intellectual arguments, it's what you miss most when you're away from home. That is the best way I can think of of truly defining your own little special part of the world. <laughs>